Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, and today I am going to be sharing my after dark cleaning routine with you. This is what I do typically every single night. It does vary at time to time, but this is usually what I do every single night to kind of set me up for the next day. Now in this video, I'm also going to be adding in a few extra things. I'm also going to be sharing some decluttering motivation and inspiration, as well as our empty basement tour because we are finally done with our basement for the most part. And I'm also really excited because this video is a collaboration with one of my amazingly sweet friends, Lynn White. She is one of my very, very best friends. She is seriously incredible. You guys are going to love her. She keeps things 100% real. And in her video, she is going to be sharing a 5 a.m. productive mommy routine along with her daily morning cleaning for some extra motivation. She is a mama to five kids and I don't know how she does it, but she gets so much done and she is so incredibly motivating and inspiring. You guys are going to to fall in love with her if you have not already and when you head on over to her channel you can check out lots of her other videos she has tons and tons of decluttering and cleaning motivation along with a lot of other just real life inspiration and when you guys head over to her channel be sure to leave her a comment and just let her know that amanda sent you and without further ado let's get into it Okay, so this was around 8 o'clock. I actually usually start this a little bit earlier on in the evening, but that's just how it happened on this night. And Kyle was at work on this night, and so I just had me and the kids do this together. And I just wanted to have us start out in the living room and kind of tidy everything up. This is not going to be like a deep clean or anything, but I just want to have the kids help kind of clean up the messes that they have made during the day. And then once we've tidied up the living room together, I will just have them go upstairs and get ready for bed. And then after I get them to sleep, I will continue on with the rest of my cleaning routine. So typically I will finish up my cleaning routine after the boys are all in bed and on the nights that Kyle is home, usually Kyle and I will just kind of knock this out together, but on the nights that he is not home, I obviously will do this myself. My main goal when doing my cleaning routine at night is to get my kitchen clean. I feel like the kitchen is totally the heart of the home, at least in our house it is, and so I really like to focus on that and make sure that in the morning our kitchen is clean so I can get things going the next day without having to feel like I already have so much weighing on me and just kind of waiting for me the second I wake up. So once I get the counter cleared off, I am just putting away any of the leftovers. A lot of nights I will do this earlier, but on this night we kind of had a later dinner and so I just didn't get around to getting it put away until now. And then once all the leftovers are put away, I will make sure that I load my dishwasher and run it and that way in the morning the boys can do their chores of putting away the dishes from the dishwasher. And also again, I can just start out the morning with clean dishes and it's not something that's kind of hanging over me. And then once the dishwasher is completely loaded and started, I will just continue washing the rest of the dishes by hand that either didn't fit in the dishwasher or ones that I just like to hand wash like my knives and pots and pans. When our eyes met I never knew that I could feel this way and it's kind of strange don't even know your name
so in 2020 i am really trying to get a hold of all of my routines i feel like i used to have a ton of routines and i feel like i used to stick to them so much better than i do now before i actually started doing youtube it's just something that has taken up so much time and i feel like it's just kind of a learning curve of figuring out how to balance everything and i feel like that's just how life is anyway no matter what you do whether you do youtube or you work full time or you stay at home full time no matter what the situation is it's just kind of a balancing act for everyone and it's something that i'm really really working on this year it's going to be kind of slow going i'm not going to tackle every single thing at once but i do want to take you guys along with me on this journey so be on the lookout on my channel for tons of decluttering motivation i'm going to be taking you guys throughout my entire house and decluttering everything and i'm also going to be sharing lots of my new routines these new routines are not only going to be cleaning but just kind of lifestyle routines as well and i'm going to create them in a way that is sustainable but also very functional in our house and so i hope that you guys will join me on this journey and just get our lives in order and get things running smoothly So I've mentioned this before, but I still get a lot of questions from you guys, whether you're new or you just haven't heard me mention this before, but this is my little soap station. So I use these bubble up dish brushes. One is for a bubble up dish brush and one is for a bubble up sponge dish. And the point of this is to actually add in some soap to them and then you add in a little bit of water and because of the little spring you can just set your sponges and dishes in there and then once you dip them down it kind of sets up your soap and it ends up saving you a lot of soap and it also just makes washing your dishes a lot easier without having to pump the soap out each time so you can get these either on Grove Collaborative I will have a link down in the description box or you can also grab them from Amazon and I will also have those linked down below for you guys today as well And next, I am just going to be wiping down all of my surfaces, and today I'm just using my e-cloths. E-cloths are amazing because all they use is water, and I'm also just going to be wiping down my stove after cooking tonight, and also my fridge, because we have little hands in this house, and that means we have a lot of little fingerprints all over our fridge. And I'm using my same e-cloths for that as well, and you will not find anything that gets your stainless steel appliances shinier than this. It is incredible. So if I'm running low on time or low on motivation, because let's be honest, sometimes we all are, once I get my kitchen and living room cleaned up, I will kind of let myself stop after that if I need to. But if I'm going strong or I have a space that I really, really want to take care of that night, I will just go ahead and do that. Sometimes that means taking care of laundry. 
Sometimes that means giving a little extra attention to a certain room in the house. And on this night, it was cleaning up my old office. Now this kind of ends up looking still messy in here, but that is just because we are moving around a lot of rooms in our house right now and our house is kind of chaotic all over, I feel. And so I wanted to kind of organize the chaos, if you will, but soon enough, you will see this room makeover. This is going to be Kyle's new office and we are so, so excited to see how it ends up turning out. I'm sure it will end up looking a lot different than my old office. We're doing a big transformation in this room, so I cannot wait to get that done and share that with you guys. I see you watching too And I know how to move You may not know me But I know your love It's around me And then once I got the main living area kind of tidied up, I just went ahead and started vacuuming everything. And I'm actually going to be talking about this vacuum a little bit later on in this video and kind of pause and show you guys a little bit more about it because I have been getting so many messages like which vacuum I love more. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that I've had a Dyson cordless vacuum forever and I love that vacuum still, but I have found myself using this one a lot more. So I will kind of explain a little bit more about that in just a few minutes. So once everything was cleaned up and vacuumed out in the main living area, I moved into the bedroom. And again, this is not something I will do every single night if I'm not feeling it, but a lot of nights, this is something that I really like to do just because I feel like I sleep much better. If my room is clean, I feel like you just go to sleep a lot more peacefully. And when you wake up, you're not waking up to a mess. You are waking up to a peaceful and calm area. And so basically in my room, I'm just doing a quick tidy in here, nothing very heavy or anything, just kind of moving things off of my dresser. And I also feel like on the nights that Kyle's working, I do tend to do a little bit extra of cleaning just because I don't have him here like distracting me and I'm not kind of waiting to spend time with him or anything and so because of that I just have a few extra minutes to give a little bit more attention to the house while I'm not being distracted by our kids and while Kyle is already at work. Drop 
just wanted to show you guys I get a lot of questions about this new vacuum I got it's the shark apex uplight and first of all this is amazing there is like no hair wrap at all it's I don't know how it does it but it's incredible as you saw I emptied out the canister before I did like this main area which carpet lines you're welcome look at that and I just vacuumed this probably not yesterday but the day before look at how much comes out this is why i've been using this vacuum so much more because i feel like it's pulling up so so much more dirt out of my carpets especially the hardwood floor isn't that a big of a deal but the carpets is incredible that is disgusting and impressive So it is a new day and I'm going to be going through my dresser and just decluttering all the clothes and whatever else I find in there. I haven't gone through this in months. I even have some dirty clothes still that like are in the washer right now and usually I can't even close this drawer unless if I perfectly fold everything which honestly I just don't do all the time like when it's just PJs or something like that or socks or whatever like I just don't always like fold everything perfectly and get it looking amazing in the drawer because I'm just gonna pull it out and sleep in it sometimes I do but sometimes I don't so I need to just declutter everything I am starting a new decluttering series on my channel on Monday next Monday and so you guys will be getting tons of whole house cleaning motivation as well as whole house decluttering motivation in every single room but I figured I'm gonna start with this this isn't something I wanted to do, include like an entire video on so I'm just going to be including it in this video, but let's go ahead and get to work. And also, I'm going to show you guys this. Okay, do you see how huge this is? I didn't realize <laughs> it's a gallon. I didn't really realize it would be so massive. This one has like all of these like times and all this stuff on it. This one just came today, so I'm like not even. It just came, so I just filled it up. But I want to show you guys. Drink your water. <laughs> My goal is just to fill this up once and then get it done and drink all my water throughout the day. I really want to be better about just being healthy and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm talking a lot. Let's just, let's get to work. Let's do this. Okay, so I definitely do need to do this to Kyle's dresser as well, but I do want him to be a part of it. And because he was working this day, I didn't want to do this without him. But this is something that I feel is so easy to get overlooked because it's just shoved into a drawer. You don't have to worry about it so much, but it definitely will weigh on you every time you open those drawers and see the clutter. And also with clothes, I feel like it just adds up in your laundry. So how I'm going about doing our dressers is I'm just taking out one drawer at a time. That way it's not very overwhelming, but I still can see everything that I have in one drawer and just kind of see how much overflow I have. And it really just helps me make the decision of what I need and what I don't. So I initially just kind of go through everything quickly and just see what items I want to keep and which ones I want to get rid of. And then as I'm putting them away, I also will do the same thing and just kind of go through them one more time in my head. And I feel like that just really helps me make sure that I'm not trying to keep anything that I don't really need or don't really want. First time in my car After drinking with our best friends at the bar Late night walks and smokes and balconies Told you that I loved you Then you said that you love me Let's not put a label on it Cause you call it what you want Yeah, we call it what we want
so a lot of times I feel like decluttering seems so overwhelming and something that is just going to take days and weeks even, but I want to encourage you if you have a small space like a dresser for example, this is something that can be done in under an hour. It doesn't really take that much time or that much effort even. All it takes is just getting yourself to start and just don't feel like you have to do everything all at once. You can definitely just take on little areas at a time, whatever your schedule permits or just whatever you feel like you can take on at one time. You can do this in the kitchen as well and just declutter one drawer at a time even if you don't feel like you can declutter the entire kitchen all at once. Just do whatever you can but even doing something small is going to make a big difference and it will keep you motivated to continue on decluttering the next time you have an opportunity to. So with these drawers, I am doing the same process of just taking everything out all at once and then I'm just going through each item individually and deciding which items I have used in the past, which ones I'm realistically going to use again in the future. And then I'm also just going to rehome some of the items that have gotten placed in this drawer but do not belong. Like there are several items that actually belong in our kitchen that ended up in this drawer. There are lots of craft items that were supposed to be up in our upstairs closet and so on and so forth. And so I'm just going through and either making sure that everything is getting back to its home or the things that I don't need anymore or things that I don't use anymore are either getting thrown away if they are trash or getting donated if they are still reusable. Okay, so I am going to take you guys through our basement. It's just very empty right now. There's pretty much nothing down here, but it is so close to being done. For all intents and purposes, it is finished. We just have to do like baseboards as you're seeing here. Baseboards and like door handles and things like that, but it's like very little work. We are pretty much done. I'm gonna turn you around and show you. Okay, so here are the stairs that you come down. This is just like the heater, water heater room. And then here's where we used to have that door and we just took the door off. Kyle filled in all the holes and everything. And this is like the entry to the basement. When you turn right, this is what will be Noah's room. We're gonna do like, we got a little Ikea bed. It's kind of like a fort bed, so it'll be like a taller, not a bunk bed, but like a medium height bed. And then underneath will be a fort area. One thing we did was we put the light switches on the closets on the outside, just so it was nice and easy. When we first moved in, this was actually just a doorway. So you had to come around here and you had like a little doorway. Kyle knocked it out and put a beam right here. Now we just have like a big entry into the basement and we love it. And notice we have carpet <laughs> we are so excited about that. This little room, we are going to kind of make like a card table, I think, just so it's like a game space that we can all kind of come together as a family and play down here. And here we are going to have bunk beds. So we'll have a set of bunk beds here and then a set of built-in bunk beds there. 
I love this little bunk bedroom. I saw this on Pinterest like years ago. Not quite like this, but something kind of similar. And I always wanted that. So I'm super excited to get that done. This is the entryway to the basement again. Again, there's Noah's bedroom. Kyle is actually going to build like a big barn, like a big double sized barn door that we can slide and kind of close the entry if we want. And then turning around this way. So I'm standing in like the game room area. This is like our theater room. So we have a projector here for like movies. And as I had mentioned over on one of my vlogs on the vlog channel, Kyle and I actually like to play video games together. We do that as like an at home date night a lot of times. And so we have two TVs that we can both like play together on. We have the pull down projector for the actual like theater room part. And then we're gonna put our couch right here and the couch will be coming this weekend. And then coming up into this area, when you turn right, this is going to be Liam's room. I think we're gonna put a bed right here. I think it's gonna be like a full bed on bottom and twin on top because I actually got that bed for the boys to share upstairs. We never got around to getting it done and so because I think they're going to end up wanting to sleep together a lot of times I just think it'll be nice to have a larger bed on the bottom he has a corner closet which is really nice the door is just off Kyle has to shave the bottom of the door but we'll get that put back on and put the handles on it and then coming back out of Liam's room you just turn right into Luke's room and Luke's room is pretty cool this is actually the soffit that has like all of our duct work for the heater and everything and like our air conditioner lines. That's why that is built down like that, but it ends up looking really cool. We're gonna put his bed right here with like a little nightstand. I think he's gonna have like a corner desk we got him that he wants and like a little toy station. And then I think his dresser is going to end up going right here. And then he also has a corner closet. We loved putting in the corner closets just because I feel like then they kind of get like a little bit of a walk-in closet. It just doesn't seem to take up as much room. I don't know. We just really, really like it. So this is Luke's room. Then coming out of Luke's room, again, here is like the main living area. And this is kind of like where we've been storing everything while they were putting carpet in. But this is going to be the bathroom. So we ended up moving that light up. If you saw my vlog on the other channel, it was lower, but we're just gonna end up putting a mirror here. A pretty nice size vanity here and then we'll have the toilet right here and then this is a half wall into the shower and we'll end up having like a glass enclosure right there so that is the plan for the bathroom i'm not sure entirely when we're going to end up finishing the bathroom i feel like like the basement's livable without the bathroom obviously we do want to get it done but it's just not something we kind of wanted to rope in with everything else and so for now the bathroom's unfinished but i'm sure that within like the next six months we'll be trying to finish it so we'll see i am so excited i can't believe that we are finally to this point like we moved in almost two years ago and the first year we just we just didn't finish it at all really and kyle was just kind of working on it but it was like a super super side project we just realized like over the summer like we just have to get this done like we really want it to be done and we really want to enjoy this space and so we kind of moved it up on the priority list and we busted it out and now here we are we are going to be shopping for furniture i actually have to find like a tv stand it's going to look kind of weird maybe i don't know because we have like the two tvs here but i need like a good tv stand here and i'm really having a hard time finding one so if you guys have any that you see you can like either email me or if you're over on instagram that's always the easiest way to get in contact with me and send me pictures send me links please i am like seriously searching for a good tv stand it just needs to be kind of low, not like crazy low, but because the projector is going to be pulling down, I think the tallest it can be is like 32 inches, I want to say. And I think that's like the absolute tallest. So I don't know. There's kind of like some weird dimensions, but if you guys find some good things, let me know, please. Otherwise, we'll just be starting to share like decorating videos down here and like room makeovers because we have a lot of things to do now. I have to do make over the room upstairs. I just made over my office upstairs. I have to make over Kyle's new office, which is my old office. He's taking that over. All the boys' rooms are living, like our, not living room, like the theater room down here. This like, I'll just call it like a rec room area, I guess. This is our forever house. And we bought this house knowing that the only way we could get it is by having an unfinished basement and then doing it ourselves and so that's why we got this house. I mean, there was like a lot of reasons, but that was one of the reasons we wanted this house is we knew that as the boys grew older, we would want more space because right now it's only a three bedroom house. And so now it's ended up being a six bedroom house with the basement finish. Now we have like so much more space to 
decorate and kind of put together and make use out of all this space and so there will be a lot of basement content coming your way. I am so excited. If you've missed some of my vlogs, if you're not subscribed over my vlog channel, I will link that below and then also up here in an iCard. You can go check that out. I have several like basement update videos going on over there. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.